this far if it won't be there Cause the God I serve only knows how to triumph I will never fail Oh my God will never fail I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the best
gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you,
You brought me from the darkness Oh, brought me from the darkness Oh, you brought me from the darkness
think about the blood of Jesus today. We think about what He is going to do in our lives today. And how He wants to transform our lives. And where do we see this? We see in 1 Peter 1.19, But the precious blood, as of a lamb, unblemished, unspotless, the blood of Christ. Ephesians 1.7, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Hebrews 9.14, How much more will the blood of Christ, though who through the eternal spirit offered himself, without blemish to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works, to serve the living God? We hear in John 6.55, For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Matthew 26.28, For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many the forgiveness of sins. But as we know in Acts 20:28 20, it says be on guard for yourselves and all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers the shepherd the church of God which he purchased with his own blood. Now we got to think about this for a moment. The power of the blood of Christ cures all and sets us free. As Romans 3:25 for whom God displayed publicly as appropriation in his blood through faith. This was to demonstrate his righteousness because in the forbearance of God, he passed over the sins previously committed. As we talked about for this soul, this is about the bloodline. And we all have a bloodline. We all have a family, a lineage, where we come from. And when you get saved and you become a Christian, there's a new life that you become. Your life is transformed from the inside out. Spiritually, figuratively speaking, and physically speaking, you are a new creature. You are newborn. You have a new life. The old has passed away. Behold, the new is here. But we cannot do that without dying to our flesh daily. We have that one moment where we ask God to come into our lives and transform our lives and set us free from everything that's ever happened. But some people get it stuck and think that's just it right here where my thumb is shaking and the rest of your life here to this part what about everything else in between we're forgetting and we just we did that but everything else is just and you wonder why so many things are falling apart so many leaders are failing so many things are not going according to plan but if we look in revelation in first john we look in the Old Testament, in Leviticus, in Exodus, even in the book of Solomon and elsewhere, what do we see a common theme? Leaders not following God. People following their own ways, building their own like golden calves or whatever else they're trying to do. What happens? The darkness comes. And God says he's had enough. Now, of course, we live in this new covenant with Christ. And things operate in a different faction of operation. But as we see in Revelation, the same scenario that you read in the Old Testament, you read in the New Testament, is happening today. Across the globe, Christians are dying. Or they're not being able to train someone to take over the next mantle. Mostly in our culture, leaders are 40 to 70 years of age. You don't see the 14 to 35-year-old group. You don't see those groups much anymore. Why? Because a lot of people have turned away from God. Or we're seeing right here in the Americas, Canada's telling churches you can't do anything. Other things are happening. Some places still can't even meet in person yet to worship God. And they're not even doing it at home. Not because of a technology divide, but because they just don't want to. And we have an opportunity today to turn away from this direction that we're going. To understand the bloodline, that the blood of Jesus Christ is more powerful than anything that we can see or understand. May God bless you. Amen.